Well, we have the little cargo trailer conversion all set up and uh, presenting uh, an invitation to come on in and take a look at it. It has its little fall theme going. It's a little thankful sign. Just looks so cozy. Let's open up the door. I went ahead and put it in the bench positions and voila, guess what is now out of that window? I have removed the air conditioning. Let's step back out again and just show you how pretty this is with that wind window unit taken out. Isn't that lovely? Oh my gosh, this is the most adorable little cargo trailer conversion. Step in and now that the unit is pulled out of the window, you can see the little cabin area for the toilet, the composting toilet. This comes up or comes down. That's part of the bed if you want to put it in a queen position. I have the extra um, cushions that make up the queen bed all stashed in here. Now, if you're pulling this with your SUV, you're probably going to store those cushions in the back of your SUV along with other supplies. And if you're gonna, you know, just keep it up in the bench position, but you'll be using all those cushions once you put the, the bed down in its full capability. I just love this. Lower this part, put it down, keep it up, lower this part, pull it out, pull this piece out that's underneath here. And uh, yeah. Now, normally I would be out here on a chilly morning using the little tiny wood stove, but I've been busy installing my own wood pellet stove inside my house. And I can show you at a later time just how wonderful that little stove has turned out to be. But here's the Blue Eddy device. Now this has been sitting here for three weeks. And take a, take a look, still at 80%. Now you can come out here on any given day and plug in the fan and the fan will operate off of the Blue Eddy. You can watch TV for several hours. You can make a couple cups of, of, a couple cups of coffee using the Blue Eddy. You can charge your devices, run your laptop, your cell phone, charge everything up. And you know what? I think the last time this Blue Eddy was used was a month ago. And I was doing all that, and it's still between 80 and 90%. I am impressed with the Blue Eddy lithium ion phosphate charger, inverter, all in one. And then, of course, I have a solar panel that I can hook to it. It's not even hooked to it. It's just keeping its charge from a month ago. So this is for sale. Remember, it's not a tiny home. If you look at it, it's wonderful. You know, it's a wonderful space for those of you who've been living out of your van and you've decided, you know what, let's pull a, a, a cargo trailer conversion with our SUV. You have room to store things in your SUV and you've got a lot more room than living in a minivan or a van. However, it's still gonna be quite tight fit for permanent living for two people. It's perfect for that solo, person who's out there and maybe you're a traveling photographer, sports enthusiast, or maybe you just work in one location of the country and then you come home on the weekends or every other weekend. And this is just a perfect unit for the road so you don't have to foot a bill for hotels. There are many other uses for this. It is for sale. It's a perfect, it's what I call an emergency mobile unit. If we lose power this winter, it's going to be a whole heck of a lot easier to run my generator and heat this little building than it is to run everything in this house. I would probably want to keep my freezer going um, in the house, but the rest of the energy can go right to this little spot. Keep me warm. Uh, I have the wood pellet stove or the fire and uh, it's just pretty awesome. If you're like me and you do missionary work throughout the country, it's why I call it the emergency mobile unit. Nobody has to foot my bill. Uh, if I feel
feel the call to go to a certain part of the country to help clean up after a hurricane or to offer spiritual or physical assistance, you know what? Nobody has to foot my bill for a hotel. All I have to do is raise support for the road, gas for my vehicle, money for groceries, a place to park this thing and hook up to some power to charge my devices. We're good to go. That's the only expense. I, another reason why I call it an emergency mobile unit. Something happens in our nation, you know, I can bug out. I also call it a bug out. It's wonderful to have. I would say definitely too cramped for full-time living uh, for two people. But for one person, you could probably pull it off if you're the adventurous sort. How is that? That is so lovely, having that air conditioning unit pulled out for the winter. Just gives you so much more space. Have a wonderful day, folks. God bless you, and God bless America.